variables are really, really helpful uh, when you're designing your site because you can basically come up with shortcuts to create colors and font sizes and, and line heights and stuff that will have essentially these nicknames like matte green is that specific color. Instead of remembering that whole long thing, you just have to remember matte green. So for instance, we'll click this guy and we want to change it to that matte green. So I'll click right here and you can either load variables over here or actually let's go to this side and then you can see where, I, where it says variables. Then that I want to click that color you can see it changes uh, the color of these guys right here. And then also if you if you uh, click down on this arrow, you've got all these different other tones that are available to you, um, super easy, that are, that are kind of derived off of that main uh, green color that you chose. So it's just a kind of a really easy tool to, to hop in there and, um, and start choosing these colors. And uh, actually, let me go back and just, I just want that plain matte green again, good. I'm gonna change this guy as well, click that, typography. And then here, variables, boom. And now I've brought that green over. So it's super simple to bring that stuff around. And you can do the same type of thing with your uh, your font sizes. So let me click on, or actually, no, let's start here. This right here is 16-point font. And um, I already made one called base. So I, I was just at font size. And then I clicked here and clicked save as variable. And then I'll just, here's another same thing. That's pretty much exactly what I did to create that base right there. So, and in fact, you can see that, yeah, this is the same thing. It's just a, it's just a nickname for the same thing. Okay, so base is 16 point font, 16 uh, pixels font. And we're going to make this three times the size. So we're gonna create a variable and just do base um, times three. And then that's gonna be base times three. And then when I save that, now when I go over here and I go to typography and I go to uh, font size, you can see when I click base times three, that's that exact uh, size. I'm gonna click base times three and now all of a sudden this is uh, base and now this is base times three uh, size. I'm gonna do the same thing here, but I actually want this to be small. So let me choose, uh, I'll do uh, base times Point seven. This is that's way too long of a name, but you get the point. And now, when I click on that guy, making sure not to choose just that link or just this link, I want to choose the whole thing. There you go. And click typography. And then when I go to font size, I choose base times point seven. And there we go. Now we've got this this font size derived from this main base font size. So it's really kind of just categorizing and keeping everything uh, nice. I'm gonna do the same thing here with recent posts, font size, and I want that base times 0.7. And so uh, there you go. So that's that's an easy way to kind of get started using variables. You can also uh, use variables for line height, uh, and then come down here, all of this stuff, letter spacing, word spacing, border width, border top right radius, border top left padding bottom, all this stuff, you can create variables and then come back to them later. So that way if you're working on other pages and you want uh, you want to kind of match certain things that you've created previous, you can just come back to those variables instead of trying to remember those numbers, um, save them instead and use them wherever you go on your site.